Hey guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha to a TV. As you can see by the title of this video, this is my entire Chanel handbag collection. Did want to strain to accessories, ding, but we're not going to today. It is strictly handbags. That is what is happening. As you can see beside me, I have set up just for a bit of background an Hermes haul. I will respect response. I will respect what happens in the luxury community and what everybody kind of thinks of fashion bloggers and luxury halls and shopping halls. There is a huge, uh, how do I put it? Disgruntled kind of issue going around over these massive luxury halls that um, uh, us girls in the luxury community are doing constantly and yes I can see the backlash I'm getting comments I'm getting questions I'm getting DMs that it's excessive it's over the top however I do have an Hermes haul that is overdue if you would like to see it it's not massive it's one brand only please comment down below if you would like to see an Hermes haul you know I it's here, it's what we do, sure. If you overhaul, you can be over them, that's fine. Uh, I personally, when I watch videos, it's what interests me at the time or what I'm going through. And I hope that you guys are kind of the same. So that is our video today, a Chanel handbag collection. But first, I'd like to thank today's video sponsor. This is so awesome to do. But I'm so proud to be having these girls as my sponsor today because they're Australian. Bridget and Bianca. I want to say I met them at BeautyCon, but... I don't think that's it. I think I've known them just from Instagram originally. They're Aussie. I remember when they started the company and it was kind of like, oh my gosh, like where is this going kind of thing. I was so proud of them then. This is booby tape. I know. Great, great name. In Australia, we say boobies. I know. Titties, boobies, boobs. I'm not quite sure. This is revolutionary. Okay, guys, these girls have done so well. I am so proud of them. I am proud of them as young entrepreneurs who have successfully sold this actual concept, which categorizes women to be not only confident, to feel like they fit in where they size wise might not fit in. I'm a bigger girl. I was bustier. I had babies. I did have a reduction when I was younger, but this, this is all categoric. Like it fits in and that's what these girls have created. This is booby tape. It is phenomenal. I would do cutaways. It is revolutionary for different cup sizes and not just in each girl, but symmetrically, maybe you're not even. So booby tape is just phenomenal like that. They have extended their line to also do nipple covers. I know that they're big in some countries. They already sort of have, you know, different brands that do it already. But to just have these under a silk garment, you're going to a wedding, you don't need a bra or you've got your booby tape, right? But your nipples there, ding, nipple cover, genius. And they did it in a way that it just is so relatable. It's so real and I'm so proud of them. And that's just what I said to Bridget. I was like, you girls are just fire. So I will leave all the stockers below for booby tape. I will link their website below. I'm so proud of you girls. Thank you so much for being today's video sponsor. The bags are behind me. I'm not going to do them in time order of when I got them because it's just too difficult. I'm going to grab them individually, come back and show them to you. So let's get into this and let's start with what I am currently wearing which is my Chanel single jumbo flap. This is the Chanel jumbo single flap. I think it discontinued. This is gonna be fun. I will leave it below but I don't want I want to say something like 2009 they discontinued the 
single flap and just only make it double flap jumbos, double flap mediums, now double back, double flap smalls are back in and then you've got your mini. I am telling you this was discontinued 100%. I definitely think because of structure loss. The double flap is 10 million times heavier than this bag because of the size of it, but because of the weight of the fact that it has a double flap. If you know, you know. If you watch my channel, you know what a double flap Chanel looks like. I will show you in a second. But the structure loss that this does have, you can see the creasing in the flap in the middle there. You can see uh, the sort of break, uh, breakdown sort of um, accordion on the side. That happens in double flaps, but much more in a single. As I said, this is going to be a grab and go situation from behind me and showing you because I have no order. We can't do order. This is my Chanel mini flap. And these only come in a single flap, not double. I got this handbag from fashionfile.com in Carlsbad, California, when I went to the head headquarters in Carlsbad, had my meetup. It was amazing. It was the most amazing experience I've had on YouTube in my entire 12 years of having this career not only has been able to work with fashion file the most amazing thing that's probably happened in my career i just feel like it was the starting level of where the understanding of luxury and resale of luxury came from i feel like at the time that i really started to talk about them bring them on my channel, talk about them on the on the internet a lot more. Resell was kind of, you know, it's if and are and I don't know, it's used, is it authentic? To be assured of that now, like I still get questions to this day, is Fashion Pile authentic? Is this reseller authentic? Should I trust them? I don't know, Jerusha, what do you think? At this day and age, with even with transfer wise, overseas currency, getting money, scamming, paper, there is so much coverage. Sure, it can slip through the cracks. I'm not stating that, you know, you, you, you can't be scammed. Of course you can be scammed. But for an authentic item, it is hard these days. And trust me, you know, okay, when you hold this in your hand or you get that delivery and it's it's a counterfeit, you're gonna literally look at it and be like, this is a piece of crap. This is the rectangular mini flap in caviar leather, silver hardware, black with burgundy lining. When I saw this in Fashion File in Carlsbad headquarters and I was inside the bag cage, which is like bag heaven. If you watch those vlogs, I'm walking through the rows of handbags, all categorized from A to Z. So in the C section, when this, when I saw this and it had the burgundy lining, which is very classic. However, this is not considered a classic. Um, I was just, I was sold. I was floored. This is an absolute unicorn. It hasn't moved, it hasn't been used, it hasn't been unwrapped barely, it hasn't seen daylight. But this is the unicorn of unicorns. The rectangular mini all over pearl bag. What this bag is, and to me, this is like Gabrielle Chanel in a handbag. This is exquisite. It is entirely embroidered with pearls consisting of three sizes, so like a larger pearl, a medium pearl and a mini pearl. The chain is in champagne gold, the CC is turn lock is in champagne gold. It is such a delicate chain, it is not overpowering or anything like that. The flap is made of lambskin leather, however the bag itself is made of sateen. So if you look in there, this is all satin and then the flap and the front is all made of lambskin. So it's really, 
really delicate. We have not gone anywhere where I felt I could use it, COVID, whatever, everything. I think I would wear this to like some sort of exquisite charity gala, uh, charity gala or something like that or a wedding. It is divine. Okay, sticking with fabric, because I can feel it. This is my all over Chanel print fabric multicolored medium flap. It's not a classic, but it's the medium size. A little bit bigger than the medium size because it's all made of fabric, so it's made of sateen and it's got a cotton drill lining, which I'll show you. But it's probably probably about that size. It's got champagne gold hardware in the CC turn lock and on the chain and on the grommets. This has four grommets. They are all engraved with Chanel and then it's got the CC turn lock. It's got the pocket on the back, which you can see there is the cotton drill I was telling you about. Just so roomy and because it's pliable, you'll be able to sort of get your items in and not fuss about getting them in and out. This was the date that, I think this was my first bag that came with a microchip. So authenticity cards stopped to link up with the tag inside and they microchipped them. Genius, absolutely genius. No one. This is my one of two classic Chanel handbags. Classic equaling double flaps, okay? A double flap is what is considered a classic Chanel handbag. It will come in the white velour dust bag with the Chanel and the quilting in her paint, because she always used to paint in ink. And then it has her, uh, the Karl Lagerfeld uh, Gabrielle Chanel illustration in the ink as well, because she was painted in ink, so he did as well. May he rest in peace. This is my fairy floss, unicorn, mermaid, fairy floss, double flap in the small size, champagne gold hardware, and this amazing iridescent pink fairy floss pink. It was like its first of its kind kind of thing. This is the first example of double flap for you. So here we go. Opening up, you have the first flap. She has designed it with this small upwards pocket which doesn't hold anything except paper which is what she used to hide her love notes in. And then there is the second flap. The second flap buttons down. I'm pretty sure no one unless you're traveling buttons this close. But underneath it you then have your debossed CC logo which is stitched. It is so, so beautiful. It then leans forward to a small slip pocket there in the front and then has your interior compartment, which is in this small size. I still think I can get enough. I can get my daily essentials. You've probably seen a million reviews on this bag, the style of this bag, but this is the amazing fairy floss, I call it fairy floss pink, that they did in I want to say it was the spring summer collection like 20, yeah, 21, <laughs> 21 spring summer. It was amazing. It's such an amazing bag. One of my most highly viewed videos ever. I got it when it was still so new, okay. He had Mr. Lagerfeld, Carl had pushed the design of the idea of the boy bag. It was, it was taking, it wasn't taking, it was still so new. So my video is ridiculously popular because I'm turning around and unboxing it and it's just kind of like, you know, everyone's not quite sure, the flap's so long, it's very masculine, we're not quite sure what's happening, what are they doing? But this is the Chanel boy bag and it's in the small size, so small, medium. They did have a large, I think. And then I think they're now made a mini. This is it in the calf skin leather with ruthenium hardware and this has got the large stitch quilting. It then came out in normal classic quilting, quite small, but this is the large size quilting and I loved it so much when I first saw it. 
at Fashion File and got it straight away. <laughs> Again, another Fashion File. A lot of my purchases of Chanel until I'd really got momentum. You know, being a YouTuber were pre-loved resale from the consignment of Fashion File or other consignment stores because I was growing. I was. It's expensive. Chanel is ridiculously expensive now. High price increase. But that's what happened and that was my story and that was like my journey and I love that side of it. The way it opens is you push the two clasps together and then you have this long flap. Again, it's calfskin leather so it scratches. We've got creasing in the middle and yes yeah, some people don't like how much leather or like flap you have to deal with and that's okay for the price you pay for these handbags be picky and inside it is a gray drill you have one slip pocket in the back the authenticity card is in there and the tag which you can see that is a Chanel boy bag okay another kind of controversial design or Chanel but I think this is Virginia's design as far as I know who was forever Carl's second it was his second she lived with him she worked and breathed with him so for her to take over the design of the house was just obviously phenomenal she is phenomenal like if you've been trained and taught by Karl Lagerfeld please honey the show's over the Chanel 19 again as I said was kind of like pushing the envelope people weren't really sure the fact that the leather tabs would come up with braided leather into the woven chain and then break out so there was no leather here then obviously the interlocking CC logo was a chain with webbed, you know, with woven leather. There was so much going on. I think people at first were just like, it's so busy. We don't know what's going on. We don't know how to relate to it. And then if that wasn't enough, you have multicolored hardware. I think people don't respond well to this because, you know, you might match your outfit. You might be matching your hardware to you know, an outfit, an ensemble you're doing. It's just, it's one of those bags that pushes the boundaries and you either love it or hate it. Again, totally fine. I love it. This is it in the shiny goat skin. Not like the lacquered. I think they did like a varnish. There's so many different versions of this bag. Tweed, like woven straw. Like there's so many different ones that they did. And again, they're all phenomenal. I think this is such a user-friendly bag. To have a break and a top handle, then to be able to crossbody shoulder, you have this leather break. It is quite hard and not really pliable, but I just put them together. No, I don't fuss over this bag. You then have a um, magnetic pocket on the back there, which is so handy for your phone. Yes, it has a fabric drill lining. Some people hate that, especially for the prices of these bags. They just don't like that you're getting fabric on the inside and it's not a full leather lined band. If you would like to know what my fabulous lip gloss is, this is Kylie Cosmetics, the Coco Collection. Love me some Khloe Kardashian. And this is the most shiny, delicious lip gloss on a brush. I love a lip gloss on a brush because it smells like caramel cupcake. Honey, you had me a cake. This is one of my latest. So gorgeous and so excited to be able to have got my hands on one. This is the In Love Heart Collection by Chanel and this is the Clutch On Chain. There were many different versions. It got a little confusing there in the beginning, but this is just the clutch. So this is just, how would you put it? This would be like wearing the uh, pochette accessories from Louis Vuitton, just a pochette accessories, like old school pochette accessories out, okay? You're not getting <laughs> your iPhone, your everything, you're just getting a lip gloss, a card holder, maybe your house keys, your car keys. 
It's not a life everything in your life bag including the kids and the pram. The beautiful burgundy lining this is in the black and it is in goat skin. Yes so it's a goat. So it's yes it's not lamb it's goat skin but it's got a really nice kind of touch to it. It's not as if you're worried that it's gonna scratch. This is my last pre-loved discontinued Chanel bag, which may make you think how we, if you followed me if you followed me for a while It may make you think what how is this her last? Where is her medium vintage double flap Chanel bag? I had to let go of something and when you look and sit back at a collection holding on is Yes, it can be a sentimental situation. It can be a user-friendly situation. You love the bag you use it. That's fine but sometimes I think I wouldn't regret anything because I've lived the time with the bag. I, but this is the Chanel GST Grand Shopper Tote. This is it, I want to say, in the medium size or large size. There's a bigger size than this, which is like luggage. And there's not a smaller size. I think the smaller version is the timeless tote. Uh, but discontinued. This is in gold hardware with super duper quality caviar grained leather. Their leather back in these days was just something else. Honestly, it is such a firm, beautiful leather for the caviar. And even my vintage double flap was really good for the lambskin as well, but I just feel like I don't think they're skimping or cutting corners on the newer caviar. I still think it's firm, but it's like vintage. Nothing's as really awesome as vintage anything. And they are in their boxes because they've been up on the shelf and one has not been touched or opened or used. But this is my latest Chanel purchase, which I was so now lucky to get my hands on through a reseller on Instagram but this is the all time all time classic Chanel handbag it is the small classic double flap from Chanel the reason I say it is the most classic is because okay yes lambskin is the most classic but the small size is what she designed first there's a debate over whether it is the medium size or the small but it was the small the demand for the small in the last two calendar years is what has bought back this bag so when i showed you my pink fairy floss one which is in the small around that time everybody started wanting the small back they had not been doing it it was like a phenomenon of the jumbo everybody wanted a jumbo and it was just so the thing so you have gold hardware you have the double flap see it's not used so there is the cover to the zipper so it doesn't make the mark you have the burgundy classic burgundy lining and you have the interior it is still stuffed exactly what i showed you and you could not get more quintessential classic chanel than this bag right now moving on to our next bag or should i say clutch on chain we also had the chance to pick it up in this famous famous in love collection purple that they came out with it was a complete hit it is the most beautiful color of violet i want to say violet purple i showed my mum. she said it was hideous it looks like it should be at a little child's toy store and <laughs> i loved it they both have champagne gold hardware i didn't say that but both the clutch on chain and just how can you say no ridiculous pricing and before the price increase that just happened but how can you say no okay and last up for my chanel handbag collection in july 2022 we have the coco handle in the mini size in the color brick and 
and this is again in the mini size it is in champagne gold hardware it has the small pocket on the back it has the hard non-detachable top handle and it has a CC turn lock and then has a beautiful layout inside of a slip compartment a compartment behind a zipper compartment on the back wall this is a microchipped bag as well and it is stunning let me know if you enjoyed this video to see my Chanel handbag collection yes it was at random but do you know what I kind of like it to be more organic if I did it in time date and blah 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 it's it's kind of nicer just to see it come as it is if you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you wish to do so there is a button below guys I would super appreciate that if you enjoyed this video please go ahead and give me a thumbs up I hope everybody is doing well and staying safe guys take care peace <laughs>